Welcome back to SWGA Sickle Cell Awareness with Patient Advocate Monica. If you're visiting for the first time, welcome. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the tribe. In today's video, I will be talking about the five things I learned about myself in 2020. Let's get into the video. The first thing I learned about myself in 2020 was that I needed proper rest. I go to a lot of conferences, I'm in a lot of meetings, I'm working with a lot of governmental agencies as well as nonprofit organizations, and I'm building my own organization, SWGA Sickle Cell Awareness. That's a lot. At first, I didn't think it was a lot, it didn't feel like a lot, but this year I did realize it was a lot. I needed to rest. One of my medical professionals, he recommended that I take a year off and just get the proper rest that I need. Because he was looking at some of my test results and was like, uh, yeah, you need to slow down. Yeah, you know, I, I, you're doing great work, but you need to slow down for your health. We want you here longer. So I need for you to slow down. And if you need to take off a year from advocating and just get the proper rest that you need. So in 2020, I did get the proper rest that I needed to heal my body, make sure that everything was okay and got the proper rest that I needed. That was the number one thing that I learned about myself and that was needed in 2020, some rest. The second thing that I took away is I needed to catch up on some work. Because I'm running all of the time and a lot of my work, I'll just put it on my desk like I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And some of the work that I, a lot of it I did get to and one of the, the things that I realized in my work is that I was 12,000 plus emails I needed to read or that was in my email box that I needed to catch up on. I did catch up on those 12,000 emails. Thank God my email looks so much better. Uh, some more paperwork that had to be done and some more networking and all of that needed to be done. And that was the second thing that I learned in 2020 that I needed to get done and stop letting it overflow the third thing that i took away from 2020 or learn proper planning prevents poor performance so the third thing that i have been doing in 2020 is preparing for 2021 there are three new organizations that i will be working with in 2021 and we've already done all the contractual agreements and signed everything and discussed everything I'm excited about that. You'll see more of that on my social media platform. The work that I'll be doing with three different new organizations, I'm excited about. I'm honored to work with these organizations, and you're going to see more out of me. So me resting in 2020 was right on time. It was perfect for 2021. The fourth thing that I took from 2020 was the growth of my YouTube channel. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my supporters, all of my subscribers, all of the people that have been watching my channel. I finally have completed my goal of uploading a hundred videos to my channel. Woohoo! I did do that. Um, I have over a hundred subscribers. I'm excited about that. The goal is still to go over a thousand subscribers and this year I hit over 5,000 views on my channel I'm so thankful for that one of the things that helped me get to those numbers was first being consistent I had to be consistent with my channel as well as TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a tool that I use on my YouTube channel to grow my channel. It helps you with search engine optimization. So it tells you the keywords to put in your tags and your hashtags and everything to get people to view your videos. So I'm thankful for TubeBuddy. Also in the description below. I have an affiliate link to TubeBuddy, so if you're on YouTube and you want to grow your channel, make sure you click on that link, and you can use TubeBuddy as a free version, and then there's a paid version. For the first 30 days, I use the free version, which is good, but it's very limited, so I end up getting a paid version. I'm a star 
affiliate member so it does help grow your channel i'm proof of that make sure you subscribe and look into tube buddy to help grow your youtube channel and the fifth and final thing that i took from 2020 was I was experiencing some pain in my body, unusual pain. Now, at first, I took the medicine and it would go away. And I took the medicine every time the, the pain would arise. So, finally, I was like, well, let me go see my doctor and see what he has to say about it. I am so glad that I talked to Dr. Tally. I was like, Dr. Tally, I'm kind of feeling this way. And I know part of that is I'm going through menopause and he did do tests. So yes, officially I have been menopausing for two years. And he also found some other health issues that were going on. And I end up in emergency surgery this year. I'm still healing from that. I'm doing fine. I'm doing well. And I'm thankful for the things that I did learn about myself in 2020. In the comment section below, let me know some of the things that you learned in 2020. Until next time, stay hydrated and stay well.